We will show you how to repair the ECM machine control unit and the monitor of Caterpillar 320D. First, we should get this product identification number. We just start the Caterpillar ECM repair training. First, we get this product identification number. We can see the mode number and the identification number. If you fix the car, you can see the V. VIN vehicle identification number ex excavator production product identification number. The most important is the uh, last eight. Here we should see the most important is FAR 03668 eight numbers. So we can use this number to get the soft software and also the schematic files as we say this one. So most of them. So all the product numbers list below is used the, the same schematic files. We can circle it. Okay. Now let's get the three important GCM of these schematic files. We will show you how to repair it step by step. The engine usually say 6.4 and say 6.6. .6. Also say 424.2, say 4.4. All of them just use the same schematic files. And the hardware is the same one. Just the software is not, is not the same one. If different, all of the hardware, all of the hardware, hardware are same, are the same one. Only firm, firmware is not the same. Only the software, firmware is different. And A4E2 has three brains, but three, but three, three two zero is just the first brain. So we don't know, we don't need to know this. The next one, machine control, this one. You can see the schematic files in this. The one who has con the one which has colors in it is just the ECM. And also this one, monitor, machine, machine ECM. And the operation in the excavator is here. Just, uh, it's the, just after the battery, machine ECM. And uh, this one is the monitor. We will, the lessons will show you how to fix them step by step. Monitor, machine. Okay, today we will show you the current, just the power on of this, this monitor and the machine ECM and also A4E2. If we just power on, the current is, is this, the current is this one. Here, we get 350 at uh, 24 volts. This one, the, and also this one. And now we will show you the pin of this, this ECM. Okay. First, the engine ECM, engine ECM, A4E2. First pin, and uh, we just need three pin, battery and the negative of the battery. And also the power on, we can find the switch key is uh, 40 pins. Okay. We will get it here. We just need three pins. We can power on of the engine ECM. These two pins, all of them are 60, 64 pins. Okay, we will circle, circle it. This is negative. Only one is okay. Usually we should call it GND ground. And the four pins, just one is okay. 24, and the power on, power on switch key, just one is okay. We usually also call it ACC in the car. Power on, switch key, switch key. Or we can also call it ACC. It's also 24, okay? When we put these three pins on, it will power on. How to power on? How to power on the A4E2. If we put these three pins on, three pins, okay. We will get 350 current, the current is about this one. Okay, next one, we will show you how to power on the machine ECM, machine ECM. And we should know the pins in the PCB. Okay, let's do it. PCB, okay, let's go here. Here we go. And we can see the 64 pins, 1 to 8 and 9 to 6, 16. The 1 is GND, the 8 is 24, it's the battery. And the 41 is uh, ACC. Okay, we also circle it for you. ACC is this one. 
ACC switch key SWITCH key UI switch key. So SWK is just a short SWK is short for switch key, and you can also call it ACC. And this is the battery. The four pins they collect together, so just only one is OK. These four pins is collect collect together, so just one is OK. These four pins, these four pins, these four pins collect together, collected together. So just one is OK. Which one is also OK? Just one. So just one of them is OK. And also the ground is also we have we get four pins here and also these four pins battery B A T T battery twenty four ACC also twenty four and this is ground if we just power on in the PCB we just collect three pins collect it here so just one of them is okay battery G N D ground and it should be there though okay next next one we power on the machine E C M. We should know also the machine has two collectors. They are both 54 pins and the back one. And this one has two pins, two collectors. One is brown and the other one is black one. So the black one, we get, get it here. Also, we should find the key switch, key switch. The first and the 13, they collect it together. The two and the 14, they also collect it together. So just use one, two, and uh, 23, three pins. We will power on the ECM, the machine ECM. It's in the black, black one. It has two collectors, brown and black one. So it's in the black one, power on. Also power on. How to power on it? Okay, this one. How to power on machine ECM. 320 and 3360. All of them just use the same machine ECM. They are the same one. Also the 312, both of them just use the same machine ECM. Just the software is not is different. The hardware is the same one. Three pins is about 24, 400, 20 is about 250 and 280, 50 and 80, okay. I will show you first one in the in the black one. B R A C K black in the black one. Black black one. Pin one is battery twenty four. Pin two is ground also, and uh, pin twenty three is switch key also twenty four. So you can power on the machine ECM. Just use three pins. It's in the black one. Okay, we will show you in the PCB. Now let's do it. So fix the ECM is so easy. Do not need to afraid to do it. Okay, we got two collector collectors here. J2 is black one and the J1 is brown one, brown one. Okay, let me check the brown, is it, is it okay? I will check it, brown, yeah, it's right. Power, power is in the black one. It's in the left. If we see this side, it's in the left. And you can see the number here. 1, 2, 3, and 12. And this is 13. 1 and 13, they collected, uh, they collected together. And 2 and 14, they collected together. So the 23 is ACC is here. Okay, I will also circle it for you. Be careful about it. Okay, here. So it's so easy for this one. How to, we should give a title of this, this one. How to power on the machine ECM, right? How to power on the machine ECM. Okay, the next one is the monitor. We will show you how to power on of this mo the monitor. First, we should power on of this, this ECM. And then we can learn how to fix it. The, to power on it is the basic skill. If you don't know how to power on of the ECM, you can do lesson. Okay, next one. We will find the monitor here, and they and it also have two collectors. This one is twelve, and also this one is also twelve. But as a PCB, you will find they are not the same one. Okay, I will show you how to power on the monitor. This is how to yes, how to power on the A four E E two. Okay, how to power on the monitor? How to power power on the monitor? We say here is the battery, ACC, and the ground. Also the three pins. 
but we should know it's in the PCB. It's not the same one. I will show you in the PCB. One is the battery, and the three is ACC, and the ground is pin two. Okay, the monitor in the PC in the PCB. We will. I will show you how to power on it. Okay, let's find the pictures. Yeah, here here we go. This is the monitor pictures. We have twenty eight pins here, and uh, in the in the left one and at the at the left one of the collectors, we will find one, two, three. Okay, let's do it. I will show you the tools. This software is designed by me, and uh, it's very important for you to repair the PCB. Okay, I will show you. Let's change it to the English version. This one is the Chinese one, and uh, you don't know how to use with use it with Chinese. So just uh, use the English version. Okay. Now it's going to be the English version. Wait a moment. We should use the website software to review the schematic files and PCB files, and uh, we can see the English one here. You collect. You just change the language English one. And you can also use this website. It can directly connect to our English version, and then we can download the app. Just download. When you finish the download, you should unzip it and install it. I will show you how to install it. So this app is just for PCB maintenance and assistant. It's a tool for you to. Repair the ECM very quickly. So we, after you finish the download, just in, install it. Just collect next, and uh, here you can choose anyone who uses who uses P, who uses computer. And uh, we don't uh, we should ignore the soft. Okay, after you install it, we can get a icon here, and uh, you should first you should you should get an account of this. You should get an, an ID of this here. We should sign up. Just uh, the username, email, mobile. If you don't need to the mobile, just uh, insert the numbers you like, and also the important one is the password. And then you can sign up. After you finish sign up, you can buy anyone you need here. And just this one is fifty dollars for one year. View permission. You cannot download this file, but you can view it. Okay. Now let me show you how to view it. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Now I will find the Caterpillar three two zero D monitor. Here is the schematic files. This is the machine. I will show you the monitor. Okay. Let's find the monitor. Machine, machine. Okay. This is the monitor. We can see the Intel schematic files of the monitor. And uh, also, we can find the PCB file here. You can just draw on your mouse, and uh, you can drag it here in the right. And we can see the schematic files and the PCB files together at the same screen. Now we will find the twenty-eight pins. We collect here, and it will highlight at the left side. So the first one is power. It's also we call the battery. And three is ACC, and fifteen is GND. So this is fifteen, and this is ACC. Okay, we get this, and I will show you in the PowerPoint. PowerPoint here one and fourteen in the in the collector. Okay, here here is one one to fifteen and to fourteen pins, and this one is fifteen to twenty eight. So battery. Battery is pin one twenty four. ACC so switch key is pin three, also twenty four. And fifteen is GND is fifteen is this one. Okay, when you power on, when you collect these three pins, okay, it will power on. So this is our website. It's very important for you. Here we go. I will get a picture here. This website is just used for repair. You cannot download and manufacture the ECM. It's just used for repair. This is very important for you. Just for repair. Okay, today 
We just use today. We just show you how to power on the three machines of of this, and uh, I sh I show you how to rec recognize these schematic files. And this is the important one is the identification number and the three important ECM of this of this one, and how to power on the engine and how to power on the machine ECM, and also the how to power on the monitor and uh, how to sign up our website okay next time we will show you how to repair this engine ecm step by step okay see you